Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to episode 8 of my season 2 hardcore survival let's play. So if you guys enjoy this hardcore series, please do let me know by leaving a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. And I just realized I asked for a like in the first 15 seconds. I'm going to redo this. Anyways, welcome to episode 8. I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. Um, I'm here every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so if that interests you, please do subscribe. And uh, I'm not sure why I keep asking for these things so soon. I mean, they, that, that was, you know, somewhat of a joke, but it's also like, I need to quit asking you guys for these things. Like within the first like 30 seconds of the video. But yes, today is going to be an exciting episode. Uh, we really don't have that many diamonds and I'd like to get enchanting going pretty soon. So you can see that we do have a large cow farm and uh, things seem to be going pretty well over there with the cows. I'll, I'll go and check on them real quick and we may try breeding them. Um, but yeah, the cow farms are going okay. Um, you know, it, it just needs to get bigger. Now, sugarcane is the only problem I'm having. We do have a small sugarcane farm in our backyard, but it really doesn't output that much sugarcane. So I've decided to just plant a little bit along the frozen river next to us. There's a portion of it that isn't frozen, and I'm not sure why I didn't plant this last piece. But yeah, that's basically where, why I put it some, put, put it some. Yes, that's... That is peak English. But yes, I, I put some over there just because I really, really thought that... Ah, this is going to be a little bit slow, but I, in the last episode, I made a really cool uh, XP farm in the nether. It's a good early game farm. You know, it's obviously not the most efficient farm or the quickest farm in the world, uh, but it does work pretty well for early game. So I'll go and show that off real quick. I'm just trying to eat and make sure that this skeleton, which I'm not sure. Okay, so we did take a little bit of damage. I'm not sure where it spawned, but I'm going to make sure that, you know, things like this quit happening because in the end of last episode, we almost got obliterated by a creeper. No idea where it came from. It just kind of fell on my head, and I was confused. But yeah, let me show you guys this XP farm. All right, so here we are in the nether, and I figured I'd show you what this thing is pretty quick. Um, it's basically just a fall trap for a pigman. Um, if there were more pigmen around, I'd show you me using it, but, like, there's literally, like, only a few. Usually there's a ton of pigmen around me, so I'm not really sure what's going on. I think they're plotting uh, revenge because I've killed so many of them. Maybe that's why there's not they're not spawning. I've literally killed so many in the past 10 minutes. Uh, but let's run over here with just this little group and I'll show you what it does. I think you guys, for the most part, have an idea of what it does. You just lead them over here, basically. You come inside, you just open the trap doors and they just kind of do the rest. It's pretty simple. And then you just, you know, you go down there and you kill them. I'm not sure what they're doing right here, but sometimes you got to stick your head out a little bit. And they're like, oh, yeah, we hate this guy, don't we? What are they doing right now? Oh, that's not a good. Oh, wow. <laughs> I almost died. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, he actually walked back out. There you go. <laughs> Get tricked, dude. <laughs> he walked back out. He's like, ah, oh, this guy's hiding. But yeah, you just come down here and, you know, I have 37 levels, so it won't seem like I'm getting that much XP, but... You actually get fair, you know, you get a fair amount, right? It's not the best thing, but for an early game farm and you don't really have another option, it seems to work okay. Uh, we'll just close them up in here. Is there actually a lot out here now? No, there's not. But there is a band of these guys, and I don't have gold on. Oh, no. Okay, now hold on. <laughs> I may have gotten myself in somewhat of a tricky situation. I really need to get a bow going. I said I wasn't going to go back to the nether until we have full diamond armor, and I meant it. Okay, we're going to do this as quick as we can and as painless as we can. Can we just kind of... They're not seeing me. Okay, I'll meet you guys back in the house if we don't. For some reason, I'm afraid we're just going to die. And I don't know why. I think it's because of that creeper that just fell on my head. But now I'm like super paranoid that we're just insta-dead here. Uh, it's okay. But yeah, we need to go mining in this episode. We need, we're going to try to get a bunch of diamonds. We got a Fortune 2 pickaxe. I don't know why it's almost broken. There's no way. Maybe it's all the coal that I got in the last area. I really don't know. We have almost a stack of coal blocks. So that might be it. But let me breed these cows first. And then we'll go... And see if we can't find a ton of diamonds. I'm trying to do a really long mining expedition because I really need to find some good stuff. No, I will not dive kinetic energy. A lot of people always get worried when they see me in a cow farm. They're like, Neo, you're going to dive kinetic energy. Um, the number of cows in here does not exceed that yet. There's like, how many cows in here? Uh, there's 150 or so cows in here. So I don't think I'm near that point at all. There needs to be like over 21 on a single block. And uh, this thing is more than 10 blocks big, and that would be 210 for the, that, that to be dangerous, like if it was 10 blocks total. So like not even 4x4, four four, like 3x3 three three plus one more block. And I, I don't know if that makes sense, but 
Yeah, I want to make sure and keep breeding these guys. Um, obviously, this is not going to be big enough for too much longer, so we're going to have to do an industrial-sized wheat farm. Um, there's going to be some live streams soon, so please do make sure you join my Discord server. I'm going to be doing some road building because you're not going to want to see that on camera. I'm also going to be doing some sand gathering live streams as well as some gravel. Um, that was actually really nice that it was placed right here next to each other. Some gravel live streams, just gravel collection and then sand collection. I promise you, I will never do anything that you're going to want to, you know, that, that that's going to make you not want to watch the series because I know some people get upset when they see a creator do a lot of stuff on like their hardcore world. Um, off camera or on a stream I'm the same way like when I watch a series I don't want to see you know a bunch of stuff happen on a live stream that I don't want to watch because I don't really like live streams all that much uh, but I promise you the only thing that we're going to do is super duper grindy stuff that you're never going to see and that I would never record anyways so if that's your jam make sure you join my discord server because otherwise YouTube is never going to tell you when I live stream so a uh, link to that is in the top pinned comment down below you can also send me your suggestions on there on the hashtag suggestions channel uh, if you have any ideas for me or any ideas for this series but anyways let's go mining um, I only need to repair this pickaxe a little bit and then we're pretty much good uh, looks like okay just use however much you want I really don't care it's only fortune 2 so it's not like the best pickaxe anyways let me clean up my inventory a little bit and then we'll be on the way okay so I think it's two diamonds for the enchantment table so I'm comfortable at least using these two for right now to make us a diamond sword I feel like that can only be beneficial to us we can just kill things a little bit quicker and then we're probably gonna need an axe so I'm gonna go ahead and make that we could just combine these two I don't really care and then we're not going to want to carry around this thing with us. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I'm just going to go gather a little bit of wood. Um, I will keep like some iron with us in case for some reason we need it. Again, I'm going to be focused on diamonds here. Uh, but if we find other stuff, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to get a little bit more iron as well. Because we used all of the iron we found making the squid farm on the hoppers for the squid farm. Which, by the way, if you missed the beginning of this season, you should go check it out. It's kind of a crazy season. We started off by making a squid farm. Not what you typically do. Not what you typically do. But yeah, let me get a little bit of wood. Okay, so 26 logs is probably more than enough. I don't think we're going to need more than that. Again, eventually we'll mine this whole chunk tree out. But for right now, we'll just let it continue growing. Uh, we'll let the wheat farm continue growing. And let's go do some mining. So I'm going to go back up probably when this thing breaks. So we got like 1,200 blocks of digging to do. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a strip mine. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Um, I'm, honestly, I think I'm going to do a strip mine because there's no other way for me to find diamonds. I have had terrible luck with the caves around here, and I'd rather not keep trying to do the same thing and failing. <laughs> so I'm going to do some strip mining. I won't film a whole ton of it because, well, you guys know the deal with strip mining. It's not exactly the most exciting thing to watch. Uh, we'll go in this direction. So I'll see you guys if I if, when I start to find something or, I, or if I get bored and I want to go caving or if I find a cave. One of the two. Really? Oh, I thought I was about to turn off the camera and I'm like, wait, I think I saw diamonds, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> oh, it doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it feels good. R Don't tell me that. Oh, I thought it was one diamond. I was like, you're pushing my luck game. Like you're really pushing my luck. You're pushing your my fondness of you. Ooh, seven diamonds off the bat. That's not bad. Again, we just need enough to do a full set of armor, which... Honestly, how much is it? It's like, this is like, hold on. I have to have a crafting table to figure this out. And I know a lot of you guys know the number, but okay. So this is three, six, eight. So it's eight plus four, which is 12 plus seven. So it's 19. Wait, so it's this, right? This is seven. And then it's pants, which is like seven. Wait, this is eight plus seven. That's 15 plus four plus five. I'm just going to look it up. You know what's great about Minecraft being the biggest game in the world? I search on Google how many for a full set of armor. And like, you you know, how many for a full set of armor? That, that's like a pretty, you know, ambiguous question. And it says 24 pieces. So you need 24 in total. Um, so we are actually getting pretty close. And if we can get, you know, diamond in there pretty soon, then I'm comfortable going back there um, off the bat. But mainly I just have to wait on sugarcane to grow. And then I just, I really want diamond armor. Even if we can't enchant it for right now, I would just feel so much more comfortable um, being on hardcore and having diamond armor. Because it's just, it, it really is terrifying. I mean, hardcore, like you, you can't deny it, guys. It is absolutely terrifying. So I'm going to keep mining. If I find anything like diamonds, I will show you. I thought I just did it again. I was like, no way. Uh, but yeah, I'll let you know if I find anything cool. Okay, well, before I get any further, I got to get some more food. 
Um, I misjudged how much steak I'd need for three episodes. I only got like 13, and I was like, yeah, that'll be enough. I don't know what I'm thinking, uh, but I definitely need to go get some more steak. So we didn't mine that far really at all, so that's okay. We'll go back down there in a second, but I figured I'd give you an update. I am just going to go back and grab some more steak real quick. Okay, so it's dark, and that means I'm automatically terrified, so I hope I don't die here. That's why I'm filming it. Uh, if I die, that's just the way it's got to be. Nope, looks like we're okay. We actually don't have any, like, like sort of protection on our front gate, and, like, we are playing in hardcore, so maybe that's something we should consider adding, right? My roof. I was like, I can't sleep, right? And I'm like, there's definitely nothing, like, that close. Guys, my roof has no protection. <laughs> like, <laughs> there, my roof is a flat, dark surface. Let's check it out. Oh, well, that's, that's not even where things are. Okay. But we definitely got to light up our roof a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, it was literally completely dark. There was no... <laughs> I can't believe that. That's so dangerous. And, like, this area up here is the same way. Like, this is... This is like literally dangerous. Like we could lose the world type of deal if we if we don't. If we don't. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's just come back down in here. I don't know where this skeleton is, but it's making me mad because like I literally can't sleep. Oh, there we go. Okay. So before we continue mining, we're gonna go over here. I think this is where the skeleton was, wherever that may be. Uh, we need to get this farm going. I think I'm just gonna use this farm to expand the river farm. Because, like, again, this is just not big enough of an area, really, for it to be very effective. Um, it's nice to have some, you know, sugarcane growing for maybe some looks around the, the place. But as for, you know, how fast I can get it, it's that that's, that's just a terrible way to do it. And I think building it along the edge of a river like this will always be just a tad bit better for now. Um, again, I want to have, you know, modern structures for everything. And that includes doing some modern sugarcane auto farms and the, and the likes. But... Yeah, for right now it, it'll work. We just need to get we just need to get enchanting going. I don't want to build skyscrapers and stuff until I can collect resources very quickly because otherwise I don't want to get too burned out on collecting like wood or something. Yeah, let me grab some steak though. This really is the best way. I've always used a sword in here, but when you use an axe, you can just get like one cow at a time, and it's like literally perfect because you know I I hate to kill more cows than I really need to, but it's honestly the best way. But yeah, I'm gonna breed these guys too because I feel like they could use it. Okay, just putting the leather up from the farm. Now we just got to cook up the beef. Obviously, we don't want to go down there with raw beef and, uh, you know, try to eat that. That would not be good. Now, if I do recall correctly, I'm pretty sure it's, like, extremely easy for us to make a smoker. And I'm not so sure why we haven't made one. So let's just do ourselves a favor here and make a smoker. Uh, we don't really have an area specifically for it. But for right now, this will be perfectly okay. And it just cooks a little bit quicker. So I'm going to wait for the steak to be done. And then I will come back and we'll go down and go mining. All right. All the beef is cooked up. We've got 28 steak. Look at that, guys. Now that's going to be more than enough for this mining expedition. Let's get back in the hole. And again, I'll show you guys if I find any diamonds, find anything cool, or find any caves, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, back to the grind. Let's get some diamond armor. Let's do it. Let me just tell you something, guys. I've been mining for quite a bit, and I'm so excited for the Caves and Cliffs update. I've been watching so many creators like Python MC and uh, some other people play the new, uh, you know, hardcore snap, not the new hardcore snapshots, ju ju just the new general, you know, Minecraft snapshots for Java. Caves and Cliffs is going to be the biggest update for Minecraft ever. Uh, they're changing the ores, like how they look and stuff. They're changing where the ores spawn. The underground is going to be completely different, so I'm just like reminiscing. Oh, <laughs> I was just gonna say, I'm just kind of reminiscing on all of the times that I have like, you know, mined like this that I am now ever since I was a little kid. It makes me tear up. Like, I mean, seriously, like I know it's such, such a weird thing, kind of cringy almost maybe, but since I was a little kid, you know, I have a, I have a tutorial from when I was a little kid. If I remember, I'll put it in right here. It's like, hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. I wanted to show you guys today how to find diamonds in Minecraft and <laughs> stuff like that. And like, I don't know, it's just been a long journey. And like, this is going to be like one of the last times that I'm strip mining like this. Like one or at least, at least, you know, some of the last times that I strip mine, because honestly, we're going to be with caves and close so soon that we're not going to be strip mining like this anymore. It's going to be cool. And I definitely am going to live underground or at least try to. Uh, but yeah, this was a complete fluke. I did not know I was going to come back and there was diamonds. I was just coming back to tell you I'm excited for caves and cliffs. But let me get a few screenshots of this bad boy. And then, uh, yeah, should be good.
I'm just gonna put some torches down like right here and then it's always tricky to get to get thumbnails guys I hope you know I spend a lot of time on the on the thumbnails let me tell you so I'm just kind of you know in camera mode I'm just kind of mining around this to see if I can you know expose some more diamonds in here get a better thumbnail but yeah that <laughs> the diamonds that we did find strip mining like th those really were like probably the quickest diamonds I've ever found like by far like that was insane like literally one of the first blocks we break is just diamonds I think this is all the vein has to offer for us it's just a four a four vein which is fine but let me take this area out take a screenshot and then we'll come back and mine it with the fortune okay screenshots have been taken again we started out with seven we'll just throw those on the ground over here real quick just to no funny business here let's see how many are we gonna get okay that's everything right yep and nine okay <laughs> so you're getting close to that 24 number i almost pulled up my phone but no it's 24 i have confidence i can at least remember a two digit number from the beginning of the episode but yes we need 24 in total for us to make a full set of diamond armor we already have the stuff set aside for the enchantment table um, I just need to make sure and have enough obsidian, which I'm going to get right now. I think it's four or five pieces. I'm just going to get like a good bit of obsidian because I am deathly worried that I'm somehow going to like, you know, use up all my diamond pickaxe and then not be able to start enchanting. So let's just get the obsidian now. Ugh, painful. Okay. This should be the last piece we have to get. And then we don't have to worry about getting it for, you know, a long time. I don't know what else you really need obsidian before. Uh, beside from nether, nether portal and your uh, enchantment table. It's pretty much it. Maybe, you know, an ender chest or something. But honestly, in all of my survival let's plays so far, I don't think I've had an ender chest except for one time, <laughs> surprisingly. Uh, but yeah, back to strip mining. Again, the, the method I'm using, if you're wondering how it's working so well, ob obviously, like, I've mined a lot off camera. Uh, but also, all I'm doing is just making sure there's a two block gap in between my um, in between my mine shafts like this and then I just I just basically mine like this it, it is the quickest way to find diamonds mathematically not an opinion data driven this is the best way to do it you just have to keep going and sometimes it'll feel like you're in a drought and that's just how it goes you sometimes you just don't find them but two block space between your things just dig as far as your pickaxe will let you go if you find something you like you just have to break a few blocks and just collect it uh, but yeah back to the grind I'll show you when I find more diamonds or something Okay, so I started mining towards some lava that I'm hearing. You guys can hear we're getting closer. This usually means diamonds just because it's, you know, a large area. Man, I've been having good luck. You guys remember the last few times we went mining. We've been having no luck, like zip, nada, nothing. Worst luck you've ever seen. And now we found three diamond pockets within like 30 minutes. So this is the best mining expedition I think I've ever had, you know, for diamonds at least. Except for that one time we found like seven veins. That was uh, <laughs> that was interesting, uh, but I feel like with this luck, we really shouldn't stop. We have 28 diamonds, so more than enough for a full set of diamond armor. But I am not gonna put that behind us. Like we're gonna go, or, or I'm not gonna like make that something we have to wait to put on. I'm gonna put it on like literally right now because I do not trust this hardcore world. I I, I would hate to lose the world so early on. So. Yeah, it's a big investment, especially when you don't have enchanting and you can just kind of, you know, lose this armor pretty quickly. But uh, I mean, honestly, like, it, like it's just it's just a good idea to have it right. Like like like, like I, I really feel like it's just a good idea to have it. So we're going to take a screenshot of it. We'll go ahead and just take it off. Yes. Go ahead and cover me with diamonds. And there we go. We're in full diamond attire here. You, you can kind of see me. Wow, that's way too close to my face. OK, let's just uh, let's flip flip the camera back around here. Let's just throw this stuff in the corner. Don't really need it. You know what? Maybe we should make an armor stand and say like, you know, Neo's first set in season two or something. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to keep it on. So I said there was going to be diamonds near the lava. I just mean like in the cavity that the lava has dug out, you know, by itself. So there's probably some diamonds somewhere in here or somewhere in a cave around here. So let's just check it out. Because uh, we have what we, what, you know, this was going to be our goal is to get diamond armor so I was more comfortable in the nether. Um, but before, you know, if we can get, okay, we already have four extra so we can make another pickaxe. I bet you there's more diamonds in here somewhere. Oh, I actually smell diamonds. They're, they're literally right here. I smell them. Hold on. Please, please work. Please work. Please work. I, I'm, I'm banking on the luck that I had. Okay. There's going to be diamonds like right here. Like literally like, look, let me, let me swim in here. 
Why can't I swim? There we go. Let me come in here real quick. And look, I guarantee you there's like diamonds like right here. Please. Please, diamonds. Please, please. Okay, there's no diamonds. <laughs> uh, it's never happened before where I've said like, oh, I smell the diamonds and then I get them. But one of these days it's going to happen and you guys are going to be like, oh my god, dude. He's literally the, the, the diamond sniffer. I'd be like, yes, I am. They they put me in, they put me in mines so I can sniff out diamonds. I'm better than the best diamond mining computers in the world. Uh, but yeah, somewhere around here, there's gonna be some for sure. Just because these caves are such a large area around like layer 12, that surely there's something in here. And I hear a bunch of caves and stuff too, which is actually awesome. I'm gathering the iron only again because we got most of our iron supply tied up into those hoppers that we made for the squid farm. And we literally have like no uh, iron left, so getting a stack or two is probably not a bad call here. We don't really need it for anything other than hoppers at this point, because we're on to diamond armor on episode eight. Kind of OP, kind of OP. You know, s some creators like to get you know, get their diamond stuff even quicker than me, uh, which I don't even get it quick by any means. And I I don't know, I don't know. I've always I've always been of the opinion that I like to take things slow, but in hardcore, this is even slow for me. I didn't have diamond gear until like episode 20 of my survival let's play. So if you guys want to make sure you don't miss my survival let's play, please do subscribe. I know I said that in the beginning of the video, but if you ignored it because every other creator does the same thing, they're like, please subscribe in the beginning. Uh, but yeah, if you guys don't want to miss my, you know, if you like the style of video you're seeing and you actually want to see more of me like genuinely do, then subscribe. Um, when the Caves and Cliffs update comes out, I'll probably start a new normal survival let's play. And then not long after that, we'll probably be doing another uh, hardcore let's play on the new uh, cave generation update. It's going to be crazy. It really is. Maybe I'll live on a mountain home. I really don't know. It's either going to be an underground home or a mountain home. Oh, wow, it's good. We have not found hardly any lapis. So, or no, that, that's a lie, actually. I think I have a ton. Okay, either way, we're going to head back up to the surface. We have enough stuff, you know. I, I, I don't want to push my luck too far. We have this pristine diamond armor. I'm not sure where it got damaged from. Where did it get damaged from? I haven't taken any damage, have I? What would I have taken damage from? I haven't hit anything. Okay, well, I'm confused. Anyways, I will meet you guys back at the house. Uh, there we go. All right, well, we are back at our house. Uh, all seems well up here. Nothing seems like it's trying to attack me, which is always a good sign. Um, but yeah, we do have that village that's super close to us. I think next episode, I'm going to try to set up a few villager trades. Ideally, I'd like to really get a villager breeder going. Um, I want to make a, I, I said I want to make a skyscraper for it, but like, here's the thing is like, I tried to do something big and bold in my last season, you know, with that ant farm and I got burned out of doing it because it was so big and I feel like a skyscraper is even bigger. So maybe it's not the best idea, but <laughs> We'll do our best to make it look modern, but I think for now we're just going to have a breeder being just like, I don't know, it's just going to be a simple breeder. But since they're so close and on the same level as us, we can literally get them over here in boats. And uh, I think that's what we're going to do next episode. Uh, honestly, I think that's just going to be the best course of action. And I'm kind of hyped to do it, so that's why I want to do it. Let's see if we can just, okay, I did not mean to break the game there with my water bucket. There we go. Okay. Sometimes Minecraft just kind of, it just kind of breaks. I don't know why. It's just like the game is just kind of inherent to breaking. I don't think that's how you use that word. By the way, uh, if you watch my videos and uh, English isn't your native language, don't, don't talk like me. Because a lot of the stuff I say is just completely wrong and I don't know why. <laughs> like English is my primary language or first language. I, I sometimes I just say things that literally make no sense. Like I have to ask my girlfriend Lauren what things mean all the time. I didn't read a lot of books. Um, I played a lot of video games, but that doesn't teach you any words. So please read, kids. Please, <laughs> if you're a kid and you're watching this, uh, you should you should read. If you're an adult and you're watching this, then don't listen to me because I'm I play Minecraft for a living. But it sounds, you know, that sounds like a dream job, but think about it for a minute. Okay, so I'm just terraforming a little bit of this area just so that we have, you know, a spot for us to, you know, run along here and gather our sugar cane. Um, I'm going to go over to the village for a second and I'm going to see, like, 
I said it was all on the same level and like it looks about to be to be the same level, right? But I don't want to like, you know, say something wrong and then try to bring him over here in a boat and end up dead, <laughs> which is entirely possible. You know, maybe something stupid like that happens. But let's see. We have three diamonds in here, right? Okay. Um, we could make a diamond axe potentially, or we can make a diamond pickaxe. I'm not going to make that. I'm not going to make that that call right now. I'm just going to go mine this by hand because I need to and I've been putting it off and I would like to build some sort of bridge to get them over here and uh, you know just generally I need wood so give me a little bit and I'm going to mine this thing. Oh and you know what since we're, we're since we're near the end of the episode the people who are watching are probably like the kind of people who are going to watch the whole thing anyways so I'll just mine and talk for a second here. We probably have to have somewhere to put these villagers, right? <laughs> like, we can't just, like, put them, you know, in a boat and bring them over here and then, what, put them inside of my house? No, 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 no. If I'm going to make a villager breeder over here, we're going to have to figure a few things out first. So this episode may end up being a little bit longer than I anticipated, but honestly, that's not totally a bad thing. Um, maybe some of it will bleed into the next episode, which comes out tomorrow. So if you're not subscribed... Please do subscribe if you don't want to miss this whole this whole little mini project we're going to do. we got to build somewhat of a modern house just to get some villagers into um, and to make a villager breeder out of. Now, I don't have any designs, you know, that I particularly am, you know, like super ready to build because I don't like I <laughs> the one that I built my house out of was a modern house tutorial I made like years and years ago. I haven't built modern in years and years. Like I don't have one. I mean, it, I guess it was like two years ago, maybe almost three. I don't really have any like modern house designs. And did I miss any any wood in there? I honestly can't tell. We'll we'll just leave it there for a bit. And if it ends up not like you know doing what it's supposed to, we'll come back here. No, I think we should be okay. Uh, we did get a good bit of wood. We gotta put up some stuff though. Our inventory is just jam packed full of crap. Look at that. I mean, we have a good bit of. Oh, we almost have two stacks of logs. That's not bad. Okay, so like I said, we're probably going to do like a Neo's first armor <laughs> stand or something like that. So let's make an armor stand. I just don't... I, I hate to say this, but I don't know how to make an armor stand. Um, we have all the stuff in here. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, hold on. Let's put up our gold. Um, because we don't, we don't need the gold right now. We have a good bit, which is awesome. We put up the stone. We don't particularly need the stone right now either. Um, obsidian is somewhat rare. Is that obsidian? block of coal that's not obsidian what am i thinking dude um and then i'm pretty sure in my stone chest is where i put this stuff now how do you make an armor stand armor armor stand okay so just a slab and then some sticks okay that doesn't seem too hard so just a bunch of slabs wait oh, these kind of slabs i only need one what am i doing dude my brain sometimes just it, it's it's been one of those weeks. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. Your brain is just kind of like, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not work for a little bit. <laughs> and you're like, thanks, man. Okay, so we just need one. Why did I make so many sticks then? Tisk tisk tisk. That is all I have to say to myself. It's tisk tisk tisk. Um, okay, well let me do some organization. I'm gonna grab some things out of here. Like obviously we don't want all this iron just chilling in here. Uh, we should probably take some of it out and you know actually put it where it's supposed to go. I don't think there's anything else in those other chests, but we'll put my first armor stand up in my bedroom since I never really have had anything up here at all. So we'll just put that right there and then we'll just go ahead and boop and uh, close the book thing. Boop and boop and boop. There we go. Neo's first armor. <laughs> nice. Okay, everything is nice and organized in there. Our inventory is somewhat organized. Uh, we have some wood with us. We're going to, you know, make a few more torches here in a second as well. Uh, because we have, you know, almost infinite sticks that we've just been crafting and amassing for some reason. Uh, we'll put the sticks back up. I really need to get some item frames built. So honestly, I might just do that right now since I'm standing here doing some organization. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> Things have just been, it's just been so messy in here and I can't stand it. So let me do some organization. I think this will be kind of obvious. We're going to do like this plant stuff, alive, alive stuff, I guess, is what I've always made this chest, like the alive chest where it was once alive. Uh, but let's check how, okay. So we did do good. We got everything. There's a friendly little spider sitting here, but how many saplings do we get? Okay. So pretty good bit, right? 
Wow, way more than I thought. I thought we weren't gonna get enough to plant another chonk tree, but honestly, I think that we have enough. Yes, hello, Mr. Spider. How you doing? You, you, you having a good a good Saturday? Are you guys having a good Saturday? Let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm curious to hear hear how everyone's doing. I'd love to I'd love to know. Uh, okay, and then I'm not gonna like organize all this on camera because it's gonna be kind of boring. But essentially, each chest is gonna have like theme. Pretty simple, right? And uh, you know, like this is the cobblestone chest, so cobblestone. This is like the dirt chest or like dirt type materials chest, so dirt. This is like the mob drops chest, so bone is perfect. This is tool chest, we put a tool. This is the glass chest, we will put a glass. I said I wasn't gonna do it on camera, but it's kind of easy. This is like the rare stuff chest, so we'll put an emerald. And then I think this was like the concrete chest or whatever, so we'll just put it there. And then we don't have anything in there, we don't have anything in there, but. There we go. Now it's nice and organized, and we don't have to worry about it ever again. Cool. Uh, well, so this is the tool chest, so I put the bucket. Now if I need, like, you know, rare stuff, grab it. If I need some dirt, I need some... Oh, yes. It's always such a nice feeling getting it all organized. Okay, let's check on this bad boy. Let's see how much we got. So we just need to worry about, honestly, getting more paper and uh, everything. But like I said, we need to get some sort of villager breeder done. Um, I don't... See, I don't know if I want to do a villager breeder just yet, because I don't have anything to trade. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't really have anything to trade. Did this? No, I think there was a gap there already. I was going to say, I, I think I broke the ice there and it, and it just came back. But yeah, I'm not so sure. Like, I don't really have anything to trade. So if I do a villager breeder, then it may not be, you know, like the smartest idea. Because like, why in the heck would I do one if I don't have anything to trade with them? Um, except to get more villagers. But the only reason I was saying that is I really, I, I don't want to get mending so early necessarily, but I'd love fortune three and you guys know my luck. Uh, the, the reason being, I only have 36 levels and yeah, I have that little tiny XP farm, but it really doesn't work like super duper well. I mean, it, it's a good early game farm, but I need a better XP farm. So hopefully we either find a dungeon somewhat soon or something like that, because otherwise we're going to be in a tricky spot. But yeah, let me plant all this back. Let me break it all first, though, and then I'll plant it off camera. So satisfying. It's always like that's like one of my most favorite things to do in Minecraft. Nice. All right. All that stuff is planted and we have quite a bit of wheat. Uh, which we will breed these guys one more time and then we're gonna end up just killing a majority of them because uh, There should be enough steak and leather to make all the books that we need and then enough steak to sustain us for a while Obviously, I'll leave a few of them in here so that we can just you know for future use breed them But there's about 200 in here. So after I breed them this time there will be 300 So I you know what I mean? Like I don't really need much more so I should be able to use about a stack and a half maybe a little bit more um, I think a stack and a half is like 96 um, but then after that, I think that's all of them because there's like there was about 200 in here in total So I'm really excited to kill these guys, but I think it's gonna have to be next episode uh, But believe you me, you're probably not gonna want to miss it. So again, make sure you're subscribed well, Let's just see a stack and a half. Yeah, that's wrong because I'm still going Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm kind of nervous <laughs> Like how many are in here? Okay, 230 240 already Jeez, dude that thing's loud too, but there's just so much in there. Anyways, guys, before we head over to the village, I'm going to have to call it an episode and we're going to go and do that tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'll bring villagers over or what's going to happen, but you'll find out what happens tomorrow for sure. Uh, but thank you guys so, so much for watching this series. I really do hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. We're on episode eight. We're going to be on episode nine tomorrow. So if you don't want to miss it, be sure and be there every Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I try to upload some hardcore content. Uh, the secret code for today's episode, if you don't know what that is, it's just a code you can put in the comments to prove that you watched the whole video, is going to be 0487. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me and the community that you watched the entire video, because honestly, only about 5% of the people who start this video are going to make it to this point. So if you want to you want to, you want to make it heard that you're part of the 5%, please do put... Uh, put this in the comments below just to show that you watched the entirety of the video anyways thank you guys so so much for watching if you enjoyed it please do leave a like if you want to see tomorrow's episode and uh, i'm sorry i've been asking for likes and subscribers so much recently um, honestly i'm just getting kind of nervous and like like here i'll talk real with you for a second so i love youtube i love playing minecraft and i love all this stuff but like i'm about to get a house pretty soon 
and uh, for you know having a house, you need some stable income, <laughs> and YouTube is not the most stable thing in the world. Uh, but just you know, by you guys watching me, you're supporting me, and uh, you know I'm very very lucky to be able to get a house at such a young age. I'm only 22 years old, and I I'm, and I know that I'm very blessed and very fortunate. Uh, but I've done this since I was 14, and you know we're at this point where you know my channel's bigger than it's ever been. And uh, I'm trying to get it as big as physically possible so that I can, you know, su successfully keep doing this for as long as I can. So if you want to, guys, if you want to ensure that I can do this as long as I can, please make sure you comment on every video. Please make sure you like every video. Um, it would really mean the world to me. And uh, I would love to keep doing this for as long as I can for you guys. But, you know, if, if, if my views start going so low that I can't do it anymore, then, you know, I have a house to think about and I can't just like, you know, play this forever. But... I really do enjoy it and I'd love to do that forever, but I don't know how long it'll last. So if you guys want to make sure it's, you know, I'm not trying to put it on you or anything, you know, I, I'm just saying, please subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, don't subscribe. Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye.